Hello there, the Summer's Oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. This phone is glitching again, y'all. <laughs> so I'm shooting blind. Um, it is glitching bad. So I'm just going to film and see what wants to come through uh, for as long as I'm permitted to film. But I think it's just a screen problem. I mean, it's filming regardless. So I pulled a few cards offline to get a vibe to see if I even wanted to do a reading <laughs> today because <laughs> I'm trying to take my rest day very seriously. And there's something that came through that kind of bothers me. Um, I don't know whose energy this is. I don't know what, um, why it's coming through this strong. But there's something about the goat man here that feels victorious in something having backfired. Okay, and I feel like it's energy work. That's why I was like, I had half a mind of pulling on it. Um, I was cleaning up and I saw the seven mm -hmm. of swords. I saw the seven of swords on the floor and I'm like, sneaky bastard. <laughs> when did this card get down there? Right? And um, another oracle that kind of spoke to me. I feel like someone did energy work and it backfired in a very tragic way. Because I feel the energy of a passing. And I'm not sure who or what it is. Um, but I'm seeing, I'm just going to show you guys the cards that came out. I kept them out on the table. All right. So the first card that had come out, the first two, was the Ten of Cups and the Three of Swords. And I heard Family Sorrow. So the Ten of Cups is typically a card that illustrates family, expansion, something emotionally fulfilling. Even the card has like a family going bowling on it. They're all wearing a uniform. And with the Three of Swords, that to me is pain, agony, heartbreak, sorrows, right? I went a little further. I got the Hermit, the High Priestess. No, I got the High Priestess to the Goat Man. So this combination to me could be like a spiritual practitioner or a spiritual person of the dark, okay? I didn't like that. <laughs> okay, I didn't like that at all. Then I got the... Six of Cups, which sometimes can be an illustration of children on the card. Uh, it could mean the past. It could mean one's childhood. It could mean some reconciliation of the past. Uh huh. Then in comes the sorrows, the Five of Cups, the grieving. The Three of Swords and the Five of Cups are very big grieving, pain, and despair cards, but the emotional kind. In comes the Nine of Swords, which is anxiety, sleepless nights, worries. And I really felt this like very smug... Um, almost like ha 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 i got you now energy off of this card because even in this card you see two people in the corners it's a it's a man and a woman so there's a negative energy that feels kind of victorious in in giving these people a reason to be upset i mean nine swords is i can't sleep at night five of cups is i'm i'm potentially crying over something three swords is heartbreak so this negativity is is issued out on a family on um maybe even two people who could be suffering emotionally and i ask myself why i get the death card so that i feel there is a passing that occurred now the question is why did this passing occur uh, it doesn't feel natural i'm going to be very frank with you this reading wouldn't be here um when I see the goat man practitioner energy, I got the star and the magician as well. You know how many majors this is? We have the star, the magician, the death card. Um, somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aries, Aquarius, Virgo, and the hermit. Look at all of them. Um, the goat man, which is Capricorn, the high priestess, which is Pisces. All of these are majors alone. And I'm like, this is something a lot larger um i pulled a different deck i got kicked to the curb there's something here that is a reason why someone is completely discarding a person it's like i want nothing to do with you anymore because i feel there's an energy of blame or there's just, there's an energy here of like someone might be appalled 
like why would you do this or why would you let so and so suffer or why did you why are you you know someone you know this is wild i see the five of swords in the nine of swords card the the this deck has a five of swords right why is it in the upper corner here it's literally that same card is in the upper corner within the nine of swords so someone might be haunted by their own actions it's like i was conniving what does the five of swords represent i don't know if i'm going to find it for you guys it might come out organically but um someone here is haunted by their own crooked ways because it caused the death I don't like to say it like that, but it's exactly what I'm getting. I feel someone did some kind of energy work and it backfired, unfortunately so. But um, what it took out, who it took out, I, it's still a mystery to me. Heck, it could be a dog, okay? Um, sometimes people have pets and they, they end up being the fall guy for a lot of craziness that people spew out energetically, unfortunately. So there is someone who did something. And the result of it is um, tragic. Yeah, they didn't expect it to come back around, I guess. And it's the reason why someone wants nothing to do with them anymore. I see police also at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if the authorities got involved based on what happened. Um, but I feel someone had put out an intention. And, you know, the gold man is rejoicing in this chaos that has since occurred. With the Six of Swords, that could cause for a person to want to move away from someone and start a new beginning elsewhere. I'm going to put all these cards back and we're going to see if similar energy or if a fresh energy wants to come out. That could be a brief. This deck also wants to be used. I got this deck from a subscriber. I don't always use these decks. I don't always use them on the channel either. I only use them to kind of dissect certain matters <laughs> when it comes to private readings but i feel the need to maybe use this deck later as well but we're gonna see because whoever this is and that's like i don't like reading on energy work too much i just like okay if it's there i pick up on it i say it's been done and then i dismiss it um <laughs> okay so i don't know this might be a very specific reading take what applies let it go if it does not but I feel like someone did something and they weren't expecting for it to pan out the way it did. Like something was not was not done and now it haunts them. It haunts them that they even did it. Five of Swords was within, like that's weird. I've never seen a card highlight another card in the deck. So Nine of Swords is representative as many may know. The Sleepless Nights card, I'm, I'm up in my head. I don't feel very well, I can't sleep, I'm haunted by my actions type of card. Um, this is it, this is the Nine of Swords in the traditional deck. So this is how someone feels by being in the Five of Swords, which is conniving, moving through the ego, envy, whatever negative feelings. Someone was like, yep, I'm going to be doing this. So once upon a time, whoever this is thought it was a great idea. Now they wish they could go back in time. What do we need to know about this energy that is present? There could be talk about this right now. I just saw the Eight of Wands. I'm hearing a rush. Somebody could be rushing. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone who operated out of their ego from a place of materialism. Now, this queen in the upright is typically a queen that is grounded, is about stability, usually typically depicted as a wife. Queen of Pentacles in the upright is all those things, right? In the reverse, this could be someone who is very, maybe very materialistic, um, very needy, codependent, um, likes the finer things, likes to be catered to, has a lot of expectations financially, and it's also coined as the gold digger of the deck, right? With the Page of Swords to the wheel of fortune this is someone who could have gone a little bit digging into the <laughs> i'm getting the energy of you know when someone wants to know their fate or know a future it's like page of swords is studying the fortune card it's like i want to know more about my good fortunes what i can expect with the moon to the goat man i feel like this person 
I'm hearing the word shadow side. So someone's shadow side could have come through. Like, let's say this person went and figured out something about their future not looking too bright. And it's like, well, how can I gain control? To me, I feel like this is someone who went to a dark spiritualist. The goat man is back. The moon is also back. This could even be like moon magic, moon, something with the moon. Okay, this is just big basically energy work it's really nasty too we have the king of cups to the seven of cups to the queen of cups in the reverse now there to the king of swords there's someone here who could be very like confused or has options where their love life is concerned i'm hearing the word dominion someone might have wanted dominion over a person with the seven of cups that's an energy of maybe feeling confused up in the air or a person in a position to make a choice but they're having a hard time making that choice with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, this man could have had another partner who was um, maybe of the jealous kind with the Queen of Cups in the reverse or just emotionally off balance with the King of Swords. This is a multiple party situation. Let's start there because I have way too many kings and queens. Um, there's someone here who I'm hearing they were in a confused place where their love life is concerned. So this King of Cups had a Queen of Cups. With the Seven of Cups, they weren't so sure about them anymore. It's like, well, I don't really know where to put myself emotionally and I feel like someone here just saw this person as the next best individual to claim dominion over like well if you and so and so are in a rough patch I'm going to assert myself and ensure that you and I have something going even if I have to go as far as to do energy work on you that's exactly what this is giving this king of cups was in a weird place with his queen of cups that's what I'm seeing seven of cups is like I don't really know what to think of this one and this person may be read very single and available. So this person was like, all right, bet I'm going to do something. This is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. That is who we are discussing. Yeah, this could be uh, someone who is heartbroken over a relationship. Two of Cups, Three of Swords. Dang. Two of Cups is back. The Fool. Someone here is embarking on a new beginning. Someone could be in a soulmate connection. The Fool to the Two of Cups. Six of Coins. Eight Swords. Ace of Pentacles. I'm getting the energy of someone having taken a chance here. What is this about? Ace of Wands. So something was initiated through intimacy. Someone was like, yeah, I want to give this a chance. I'm trying to understand if this is a backstory. Let me just continue. Six of Swords. Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands. That's a lot. Somebody here could have traveled. I'm seeing travel of significance. I'm seeing a person having a good time. I'm seeing someone um wanting to have a bright idea let me just dump this all back because it came out way too much i just see progressions tell me more high priestess to the moon i'm hearing the word advice someone got spiritual advice about a relationship here that king of cups is back y'all <laughs> to the moon this man could be a pisces i have High Priestess and the Moon Energy. Okay, Aries as well. Tell me more. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, I see somebody like, I want this relationship. I want to move forward in this relationship. I want this to progress. And somebody here got advice. And Nine of Cups, yes, desires. This is my desire. <laughs> okay. Nine of Knight of Cups. Whoever this person was pursued this quite diligently. Okay. Ace of Wands, speaking of pursuing it diligently. To the goat man. There's definitely some kind of intimacy that was initiated, but I don't like how when this Ace of Wands occurs. You see the Nine of Cups? This is someone trying to be the object of someone's desire. It's like, well, I'm going to fulfill this person's fantasies. I don't know if a beverage could be of significance, but this woman is sitting here like, yeah, you know, you want this, okay? I don't know if someone took advice per a spiritualist's advice. It's like, 
oh you should do this you should do that so with the ace of wands once the intimacy was initiated this one came out to play all right i don't like it but it's like that's exactly what i'm getting it's like the minute someone said hey let's do this thing um it's it's like uh, something went <laughs> downhill from there yes it's like the goat man got a hold of someone's fate um, some people, wow, page of swords, look, the queen of pentacles is back, the queen of pentacles energy could be watching, okay, because I keep seeing the energy, page of swords, queen of pentacles, um, so the goat man, right, it's like, <laughs> as soon as this got initiated, the goat man got hold of someone's fate, it's, nothing about this was high vibrational, um, someone maybe thought that with their addiction, like someone could play on someone's addictions, okay? To make a relationship long-lasting. Maybe someone um, had certain addictions. We have the emperor to the moon. It's like, this is an emperor. The emperor energy is someone who is typically of high stature or they lead empires. This is someone of higher ranking. So I get the energy of someone wanting to pin down a person of higher ranking. man or woman the tower something backfired with the three of cups something about a third party narrative which we already felt they're saying it it backfired because this person has higher purpose on their life when you think of an emperor as i said they lead empires it's not just them it's not just themselves they need to take care of they they could be feeding mouths of a lot of people they could have a greater purpose in i don't know changing something significantly in the world that's kind of what it feels it feels like so it's like it's not just anybody if this person falls many fall along with it that's why it's like this person's footsteps in this world hold weight whoever this energy is it could be a man it could be a woman but I feel like someone thought that if I can get over on them, if I can manipulate them, right? Whether it be with intimacy, addiction, the spirit of addiction, lust, whatever this person advised them to do. The reason it backfired is because there's some sense of importance on whoever they try to do it to. This person could have offered something like a request of something strange. Queen of Pentacles, let's put the deck on it. It's like this person thought, well, maybe if I offer them this, it's like roping. I'm just seeing someone trying to rope a person in. I'm also seeing this burn, this building burn. Now, I don't know if someone was, was successful in ruining someone's empire as a result of exchanging with them. But it's like the minute these two <laughs> paths intercepted and someone agreed to have some kind of rendezvous with them, everything started crumbling ever since. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Four of coins. Because something about this was a greedy endeavor. Four of coins speaks of possessiveness, greed, holding on to things. Maybe someone thought that they could get a come up. Or maybe someone's finances are getting rocked as a result of this exchange with the lovers. Wow. Yeah, King of Swords. This could be a lawyer, a doctor, or a detective. With the death card. Someone could be investigating how something came to an end. Someone is investigating something, maybe even where finances are concerned, corruption in some way, shape, or form. I see the death card to the Seven of Swords. It's like I see some professional being initiated to put, uh, to have some kind of damage control where the tower occurred. What is this about? Like, I'm still not getting to the root of the problem. Ten Wands, a lot of burdens. This is very burdensome on someone. Someone's pockets could be greatly affected. It's like the minute I'm just seeing somebody so regretful of having dealt with a person who looked like a tease. I don't know. I'm getting this energy of this person was a tease. And I decided to go into something with them. And ever since my empire is crumbling, now I have this on my case. I have that on my case. All because this one night <laughs> I decided to hang out with this person. 
It feels a bit strange like that. Somebody could even be investigating a death. Like, I don't know if somebody passed away in a mysterious way. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Someone's future is on the line, they feel. Someone's abundance is on the line. Someone's family as well. There could be someone investigating in a family situation of people of great stature. I see greyhounds. I don't know if that dog breed is of significance. I'm seeing an older gentleman here as well. Nine swords, hanged man. Someone could be fearing um, some kind of reputation or public humiliation. The nine of swords is here again. It, it, all, it all began with falling for temptation. It all began with falling for temptation. Yeah, now this person's under judgment. That's why the divine or the divine, it's like the goat man is like, ha, 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 we got you. You exercise your free will in such a way that is now haunting you. Someone could be going through a lot of stress right now. As a result, and it all started with agreeing to something and in comes this Ace of Cups. Um, Ace of Cups can speak of new love. It can speak of blessings on the way. I see in this image um, a woman with child. So this is telling me that Ace of Cups could be a blessing in those ways. Someone's in their head about leaving because it's more than just them now. I'm seeing that. Five of Swords. Look, I feel like something was almost like a plot. It's like, well, this is going to complicate things. I'm telling you that Five of Swords is here. Someone is haunted because I see something being used as a pawn. Whether it be, oh... You know, when couples, they get a place and they have a dog and it's like, well, I'm going to go with this Frenchie. <laughs> I'm staying with the dog. You're not getting the dog. That's if it's a dog, if it's a child, then yeah, it's like, I, I'm keeping this child. You will get no access to this child kind of BS. And that's why it's hurting somebody to um, make certain decisions because it's not just about them anymore. Now someone's now someone feels haunted or something like that. It's like, I just feel this weird haunting energy. And it's like, all because the goat man was initiated through lust, through the spirit of greed, through the spirit of addiction, through the spirit of temptation. This person's life just went from this to that real quick, all because of one person they chose to interact with. And now I'm seeing this Ace of Cups. Why is this Ace of Cups here? What's happened with this Ace of Cups? Ten Swords. Yep. Someone feels like they're, what they're fearing would happen is exactly what is going to happen. Something like that. Because this person went from nine to ten swords. This person feels like something with this child. I feel it's a child. Feels like the ultimate betrayal or the ultimate sense of defeat. The ultimate like there's no going back. Look, Queen of Cups in the reverse. I don't know if someone is very vindictive emotionally manipulative um conniving someone is using something against the person but it's 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 more than just it's like it's a weakness when you think of the ace of cups it's something you might have a lot of love for it's something you might feel unconditional love for someone feels completely cornered and betrayed because of this ace of cups and i feel it has something to do with something a person loves deeply that could be an infant, that could be a child, that could be a grown person. But the Ace of Cups is like a lot of love, right? It's tender, it's pure. It's also an energy of innocence. So I feel someone feels like there's something they were fearing and it, it would happen and it's happening. This person feels ruined. Four of Wands. There could have... No, the Six of Wands. This is not the Four of Wands, the Six of Wands. Um, someone might alert something. The Six of Wands could be like um, success, victories, public recognition. I feel like someone feels victorious in having tempted a person because it fell right on top of this Nine of Cups. Someone could also, um, whatever this is, could affect the person's reputation. This Five of Swords is back. Yeah, it's like I, I got the upper hand over you. Wheel of Fortune, I managed to change the direction of your fate in some way. That's what someone or an energy wanted to achieve. I don't know why. I, it feels weird like that. Why is this here? Why is that Ten of Swords so strong? Yes. Yes. Because the judgment goes in the favor of someone who 
wanted some kind of financial accomplishment. Do you see this feminine? It's like, this is someone who sat like, yup, with all these bags. <laughs> okay, something went in this person's favor. And that's part of this person's judgment. Judgment can be a card of karma, consequences, final decisions. Some kind of decision goes in a person's favor in the sense that they feel like they've won in some way. I find it very weird. It has something to do with a financial come up. It has something to do with maybe a settlement. It has something to do with the final decision. And something could affect a person's, the next seven years of someone's life. You know, when you have those karmic, karmic cycles, 10 swords, the, de the devil, because I speak of karmic cycles. Someone has to pay the piper. Someone is um, has a long-term financial responsibility of karmic nature. So it's like you are responsible. You are liable financially for this, for this situation um, for an X amount of years or for the rest of your life. Like, I don't know what this is, but it's like someone who is going to expect to financially collect from them. Okay. And I'm hearing nothing of this was on the basis of love, ever. I feel a very cold person here. I feel a very matter-of-fact kind of person. I also feel the energy of someone who knew exactly what they were doing all along. Someone feels screwed over. I have multiple tens here. Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles, if I'm not mistaken. This is the way the cycle closes for this person. This is someone who their future got rocked greatly when they decided to pursue this. It's like everything. So, you know, when you build something you are incredibly proud of, you can look back on. And like, I feel a lot of things got rocked for this person. The gold man feels accomplished here. You know I don't like the gold man, so you don't you know I don't like readings like that. So tell me more, what is going to happen beyond this point, right? This judgment, something feels decided here. Tell me more about the gold man. Eight of Wands. Conversations, plans, certain plans in motion. Someone here is trying to make certain plans. I heard escape route. You know when someone like wants to jailbreak, so they start <laughs> looking at the tunnels underground and want to dig out to go somewhere. I don't know that I mean, three of wands. Yeah, man, three of wands speaks of like waiting for that next best opportunity to maybe start anew. Someone has accepted the consequences of their actions. So they're realizing what they can change and what they can. They're learning to let go of what they can't change and accept um, something for what it is. Like after this judgment, now it's like, how do we progress? Someone is really still looking into a passing. I see the page of swords, which is investigative. It's spying, but I'm seeing the death card again. What is that energy? Do I want this card? What am I feeling in there? Diamond girl, born to shine. Kick to the curb. Keeping a promise in the reverse. Someone could have promised a person um, commitment. You see, keeping a promise, it's in the reverse. Someone is kicking a person to the curb who they once promised commitment to. So I see diamond girl. You see that diamond and it's like, I'm kicking this person to the curb because I'm no longer keeping a promise. It's kind of self-explanatory. That's what the card says. Okay. Keeping a promise in the reverse. Someone maybe promised a person, um, commitment because they maybe were expecting of them maybe that's what they were looking into 
to me this feels like a big old trap y'all like i don't know it does not feel nice at all getting a room i'm telling you something was just lustful yeah pleasure and business maybe someone <laughs> there's this saying don't ish where you eat so someone mixed bu business and pleasure and that was their bad okay that's what i'm getting it's like don't do something like that you can't mm -mm. i don't know yeah now they can't really defend themselves it says defending yourself in their first they maybe feel defenseless because of the actions they've taken it's like they can't stand their ground in this that's why they're brainstorming it's that's why i said escape route it's like someone's like damn i'm caught up for these actions i want to kick somebody to the curb someone who is maybe expecting of me to give to them for i don't know the long run and they don't want to have to do that that's why this person's trying to like recalculate how to get rid of this energy because they're caught up for something this person has become a hater so whoever they're dealing with knows that they want nothing to do with them so they have now become um, hateful a more hateful spirit i really feel it in this person i don't know who this is but it's that queen of pentacles in the reverse that i felt from the top of the reading it's like their their true colors are starting to show and now they don't care to hide it anymore i'm hearing i can't make it up the energy from the top of the reading really felt like i want the finer things but it's like it's always going to be about them and it's never enough so this person loves being spoiled catered to this is someone who will run someone's pockets dry okay it's like i'm that person it's the same energy here you can't tell me otherwise okay these cards literally mirror each other it's like i expect you to invest in me so much and da 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 and um yeah it's one of those okay <laughs> what else can i say and if this is a blockage to this person's abundance because it's like anything i i make goes straight out like water it's like i feel somebody who's very bad for someone's abundance it's like they don't help grow it they just deplete it okay that's what i'm getting and this person's a hater so they are well aware that a person is trying to get out of a certain responsibility spirit is saying yeah next time you should learn to wrap it up i don't know why i'm getting this energy maybe this person really is um has a child for them okay it's like this is and and even if there's uncertainty the lesson is learn to learn to protect yourself you can't just lay with anybody like that because that's how this one goes to work ding 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 Jeez, I'm crow. <laughs> it's like, so people are extra slow. It's like, that's how this one goes to work. A mess. I'm hearing some things. All for some P, all for some D. Was it worth it? But I digress. Oh my gosh, this person just like, yo... When I tell you, they wish they were anywhere else. Anywhere else. This person might vent a lot to kind of deal with it. Yo, keeping a promise. Someone maybe is trying to talk about something they they want to talk about it. Like, hey, you promised me the world. You promised me this, that. Someone does not want to hear it. It's like, I don't want to talk about the things I promised you once upon a time. This person is trying to figure out how the hell to escape. Yo yo now what was that energy work i was feeling someone's like i don't want to hear about what you expect of me <laughs> I want yo that's terrible <laughs> yo there is this and picked up on it yesterday here it is there's no passion in this connection whatever it, whatever it was something went south and i don't know why it went so sour it's like someone got advice from a person on how to put it on. Oh, so-and-so was like this, that. I don't know if this person literally consulted with someone who dealt with them, which would be even worse. Can you imagine someone you're dating consulted with an ex of yours to tell you how to get in there? That's weird. Why am I picking up on that? It's like, oh, you should do this to turn him and her, him or her on. This person was coached on how to go for this person. This was a money plot, I feel, from the very beginning. That's what I'm picking up on, y'all. And now this person fell for it. They need to reap, 
like the consequences of that but when i tell you it's ruined a lot that they've worked tirelessly for an emperor's empire is something that took decades sometimes to build right so this person feels defenseless and now someone's like well i expect you to do this that and the third for me because so and so and so and so and they're just like uh, it's like this person is not attracted to this person anymore there's certain promises they definitely do not want to keep this person has become a full-fledged hater and the goat man is like ha, 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 now i can fully work my way through your empire through your mind through your restlessness through your family sorrows through your grief through the bickering through the this the, the devil's like yeah it it irks me I'm seeing this. Why do I? Why, I'm to, why do I? Why do I refer to an escape route or a jailbreak? This person feels like they've committed to a cellmate. Yesterday I spoke of soulmate or cellmate. The decision is very important. This person feels like they fell for a cellmate, like they fell for the dupe or a copycat of the real deal. This is like yo. This one is just like ha ha. I don't like readings like that. You already know I'm a very uh, optimistic person I always like to look for the silver lining in things but someone here got caught up got caught up bad and it ain't looking cute the goat man's like yep you signed up for this yes what did I say I'm a prospect karmic begging for a chance someone was very desperate for this person's time attention um they 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 tried to seduce them and it worked <laughs> but it's not it's not riding them into the sunset of paradise. It's like bringing them straight to this. Someone feels shackled now. <laughs> and I feel like the authorities have been called in this situation. Or they're involved in this situation. Someone here might be very aggressive. Someone may, might be in a possession of a weapon. Um, someone might feel like they need to protect themselves from whoever this is that flipped the script on them because this person you know what this person when they started realizing that an individual is trying to break free from them or doesn't want anything to do with them or is not really happy with them their ego got triggered and that's where the goat man is happy too it's like yes let's wor let's worm our way through this karmic trig um, triggers and ego So I feel like this is when someone tried to do um, magic. This person stalks too. Very unhealthy. It's like when the person isolates away from them, they become a stalker. What is wrong with this person? What do I feel? I feel like this person did something. Yes, because it's like someone took distance. They don't want to talk to them. They don't want to be intimate with them. They don't want to fulfill the promises because they feel like someone duped them. It's like you are just trying to trap me for long-term security. And I feel they've achieved just that. So can you imagine you realize that someone just wanted you for the wrong reasons? You're not going to want to do all these things with them anymore. You're not going to feel all kumbaya. It's common sense. <laughs> I hear the flush. Someone wants to flush this whole situation down the drain. They wish they never met them. For some of you, someone literally sees a person in those negative ways. Like, I wish I could just flush this person away. I wish I could just kick them to the curb. I want nothing to do with them. And that's why this person's hatred started growing. I'm hearing there's a thin line between love and hate. So when someone feels like the other one doesn't want them, they're like, fine. This person could be very um, competitive with another individual. Who has the time? Yeah, somebody here might use emotional manipulation to get more out of a person's finances. It says there's an ongoing power struggle. This one always is about money. For, for some reason, there's some kind of financial offer on the table that a person is disputing. It's like, no, I appeal that. I rather this amount of money. Um, they're playing poor, poor, pitiful me. I'm in distress. Their inner child is completely triggered. It's a hot mess. This is someone whose empathy is also very low, so they don't care what they need to do to get what they want. They've become a hater now. It's like, I need to achieve what I want to achieve in this situation. I'm going to get the best out of it. If you don't want to hold up your end of the deal in these promises, I'm going to get what I want to get out of it. It's a very like <laughs> energy. It's like. what i'm feeling in this energy this person's just 
Uh, very obnoxious, okay? Yes, y'all, this is a very obnoxious person. Not only that, but whoever they were dealing with, whoever this temptation was, they went for someone who wasn't even available emotionally. That's Seven of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Cups in reverse. It's like they were at odds with somebody. They were in a blimp of confusion and limbo. And it's like they weren't in no position to be dealing with. But whoever this is doesn't care. It's like, well, if I get you to, I don't know, sleep with me, hook up with me, deal with me, have a relationship with me, and I can secure something long term with you, I'm good. I don't care about where you are emotionally. I don't care about da da da. This person cares about the practicality and their sense of security. And I'm also hearing about how it looks, okay? <laughs> Something like that. They didn't give a dang. This is someone who confused this person straight off their path. Wow. Yep, here we go. I refuse to be a single parent and use this to my advantage. What did I say about a child or some like a, a, a more youthful energy where you, you feel unconditional love for being used as a pawn? I said what I said. Here's the card. Okay, then. Yeah, the spur is like, help me, help me. Because it's not just about me anymore. Rightfully so. But it's how the... It, yo, <laughs> it's the way the situation is panning out to me. It's wild. Okay. Um very weird tell me a little bit more before i end the reading how many minutes are we on four swords somebody here could be feeling ill someone here doesn't feel very well i'm seeing the four of swords somebody here could be on bed rest something isn't a walk in the park i'm hearing with the page of cups somebody here could not be feeling well like they don't feel that well they might need to rest and just slow down. Justice. Maybe they were ordered to chill out. Court order to chill out. We have the magician. Oh, I see where this is going. Spirit is saying there's something about cause and effect in that justice card balancing itself out for what this person tried to do intentionally with the magician. Uh-oh. Eight swords. It could be spiritual jail or like a trap for themselves. They wanted to, with the magician to the eight swords, they wanted to energetically trap a person. But the spirit is saying it balances itself out in this person who issued out the energy work not feeling too well. What did I say about the moon, moon magic, blah, blah, blah. This is someone who's could be bedridden because of what they did. I see this woman with her hand on her belly. It's like she's not feeling well, either she's da da da. It could be a he too, okay, gender in specific, but I'm clarifying these cards. Someone don't feel well. Justice, the magic card. Eight swords, which is entrapment. Somebody wanted a person to feel trapped, be trapped. Their ego got triggered when they realized somebody didn't even really want to be with them anymore. And that's the thing, like, when you get triggered, you can do one of two things. You can either let it go or you can become someone who acts recklessly from that space. And when you heal, you don't act recklessly from that space. This is someone who acted recklessly. Yes. It's like, how can I secure what I need to secure with this mysterious endeavor? Okay. How's that working out for them? Seven of Cups. Yes. I'm hearing the artist of confusion, the art of confusion, the goat man. This person went through, you see how this man has like a head, a headpiece? And with the seven of cups, it's like, what options do I have in confusing this person and trapping them up? And now, please clarify this card, please. What's with the four of swords? Five of cups. I'm hearing spirit of depression. Someone is really not okay. Like, I just feel it. They could be very lethargic. They could be very doomy and gloomy kind of energy. They're not feeling well. Queen of Cups in the reverse. This person could be over emotional, hormonal, off balance in many ways, um, regretful of their actions. Because whatever they did to try to keep a person, someone doesn't want anything to do with them. So it's like, 
maybe you secured what you thought you wanted but you couldn't secure this person's heart so people can dish out energy work to corrupt their mind to corrupt their thinking to corrupt their um, maybe choices in like addictions and feeding into temptation but you can't corrupt this person's heart someone here doesn't love them and nothing that they were ever going to do was going to secure this person's love it might have secured their lust it might have secured other things but this person is not holding their deal in committing to them i feel because that's what this this card insinuates with that ring this person's upset this person feels disappointed in how things panned out okay and the lovers this is going to lead to another choice being made because this choice this avenue has been exercised out it has been played out and the goat man showed his face so it's like oh yeah this avenue was pursued once upon a time this avenue was <laughs> likely you know it's, it's i'm hearing not only was it short-lived but the writing's been on the wall so it came to a close everything came to a head there's no extension of that that's what it feels like and someone here is not only in their head um they're worried they're not feeling well i feel someone physically ill this person is in maybe spiritual jail, which is like a form of entrapment that the divine puts a person in from stopping them from doing anything more reckless than they already have. So it's like the situation has been played out and the goat man feels satisfied because I feel like there's a passing that took place. Where, how, when, details, I don't know. I'm just an energy reader. Not only that, someone is caught up financially for a long time. Someone here is dealing with this, that, and the third. Health problems, da, da, da. It's like the goat man's like, yup, yup. Yup. All because someone operated out of their ego, was initiated through lust, greed, all the things that encompass goat man energy. It's like, yeah, that's what you, you, you know. It is what it is. And now someone from this experience in this door being shut now wants to make other choices. Wow. Tell me more about the lovers. This was a lesson. This was a lesson. The death card, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. I heard by the balls. What? Ha what? <laughs> I literally heard by the balls. Someone has something has someone by the balls. I'm seeing this like thing holding this woman by the hair. I don't know if someone has a, an energy has a situation by the nuts or this this <laughs> the death card to the lovers is like an ending to a choice. There is no more revisiting this person, this relationship. It's an ending. It's a breakup. And there's no repairing it. Someone here is like, wow. You know, that's the thing. Like, sometimes it, like, it's best to just let things play out organically. When you start trying, trying to control it, it ends up worse than how you just let it flow. You know, that's what I'm feeling with this person. This person has certain consequences that took over that almost like hinders them from moving forward in a, in a more like um, organic way with maybe a new partner that would have been perfect for them. Now, not only that, they have um, maybe issues like that they need to clear out with concerning a child. This person has mental problems. This person feels ill. This person's grieving and depressive. This person feels haunted at night. It's like, wow, look at all the things you've acquired because you just couldn't sit down and just let something play out organically. Mm. So they've put themselves on a negative path in the choices they've made through their ego. And they're not securing the person. So it's like, wow, you managed to do that, all that in a bag of chips. All over what? A man or a woman? I'm hearing a siren. All for what? Money? Someone could be giving this person what they want financially and walking away. I'm seeing this like scale tattooed on this man's hand. It's like, here's what you want. Here's here. Here you have it. And I'm out. So they still aren't <laughs> emotionally fulfilled because it's like, I don't know, y'all. It's like, yeah, you got maybe this, that, but now you've got health problems. You've got this. You're doing this alone. For some of you, this person could be raising this child alone. Okay. It's like, here you are. All this. And, and for what? For someone to still leave you. It makes, to me, it's like, it baffles me how people behave. Yeah. And someone's also like tying up their player-like ways. 
their sexually reckless ways. It's like, I'm not going to be acting like this anymore because look what it put me through. I'm telling you, this whole situation was a lesson that the goat man was very happy to teach people here. It's like, yeah, this is what you get with a cell mate, not a soul mate. That's all this reading wanted to ensure and, and, and illustrate for people here today. It's like, this is what you get with a cell mate. Now I'm getting um, called to use this deck. As I say, this deck was gifted. Um, thank you to the person um, trying to remember your name. <laughs> I get uh, mixed up. I think it was Kelly. I might be wrong. I think Kelly was the vice versa deck. Or was this Nicole? Anyways, I appreciate the deck. Um, it's not a deck I use too often. Okay. But I really feel the need to use it. I only use it in private readings. But I feel the need to use it right now. What do we need to know about this goat man energy? What does this person do? I'm hearing a siren. It says squirrel medicine. I feel like someone did something to either ingest or have someone else ingest. It says no eyes or ears shall see you coming, a well-deserved reveal. This person did something secretive. You know when... Weirdo sirens? Gratitude. It's like this person... <laughs> There is a death. It says wreath. <sighs> Ambulance could have been called. Someone could have been sick. Someone could be in the hospital. All for what? These things make me very sad, you know, people should really just, some people just love to learn the hard way. I don't know how to explain it. It's so sad. I really feel someone could be either very ill, got rushed somewhere. This card says there is the circle of life. There in the circle of life tends to breed death. One is not without the other, eternally bound by the essence of spirit. I know what I'm picking up on. Yeah, I felt it from the top of the reading. Someone here did something really stupid. And some... And something passed away. Something, someone, I don't know. I don't know if someone tried to make a person eat something. Like, that's what it's giving me with this feast. Something could have happened um, over a holiday season. I'm hearing something last year. This could have even been last year or earlier during the holiday season, after the holiday season. I'm getting something more so festive, okay? Squirrel medicine, <laughs> right. When you think of squirrels, they like harvest things. I'm just getting this person thinking, I'm going to plan ahead. It says pitter patter, plan ahead. This is someone who wanted to secure their harvest. It's like, well, if I do this now, when the time comes around where I can, I, can, I can secure my harvest, Seven of Pentacles, in divine timing, I will secure my future financially if I do this. Yeah, 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 this is a great idea. Yeah, how did it play out for you? This is a hot mess. No eyes or ears shall see. This person really thought that the divine wasn't watching when they decided this for another and they did it on someone they could not do it to. It's like, you can't just do this on anyone, but this, this especially not whoever they did it to. And they're learning that the hard way. The goat man's like, yeah, they're gonna learn, but I will issue whatever comes with their decisions in trying to do something here that they thought would be unseen, unheard of. And, I'm, and I told you, I felt the energy of, yeah, a death. Heck, it could be a parakeet, but I don't know. I feel like it's more than that. It's all, that's all this person can think of, and they know it too. So it's like all these things, all these backfires that have, have occurred or that are currently occurring, especially with that siren wailing. It's like 
all these backfires that are occurring, this person knows why, and only they may know why. For others, it just might be, oh, what, what a tragic event. No, no. This person knows dang well why it happened. So does this one. So does the divine. Very unfortunate. And you see how this woman is the one carrying it? It's like she has to carry the burden, right? It feels like a she, it could be a he. This person has to carry the burden of a choice they made that, that led to this point. And that's another thing, like there are a lot of readers on here who agree. You know, you are a special kind of stupid if you're expecting and you choose to do all these craziness energetically. Like your one and only priority should be offspring, your child to come. This is terrible. Like it's terrible to me. I'm hearing the ultimate price. That's really not nice. This person could be under observation. This person could be being monitored so that everything goes okay. Um, I hope it for this person because I'm getting the energy of like something, you know, I don't know if it's an elder. It could be someone in the family that passes unexpectedly, whether old or young. It's just like that energy just wants to say, hey, I'm going to teach them this lesson because cause and effect. Because this, whatever they did is backfiring miserably. And that'll be the lesson. And that's how the cycle closes. Something is going to have to pay the price. And I'm seeing all these Christmas ornaments. I don't know if this person did it over Christmas. I'm seeing Christmas ornaments. Yeah? But I'm going to leave it there. Y'all, if this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, wait. This deck is like, hello. What do I need to know from this deck before I end the reading? This says ignoring childish don't want to hear the truth distracting oneself someone is ignoring this person distracting themselves gone no contact we have strong sturdy durable and unbreakable this could be a person who felt um, duped played i mean it takes two to tango this says third party situation scandal forbidden love and evidence as i said this says coveting keeping a close eye studying and stalking someone could be very shocked about something that had come out we have the emperor what did i say this is not somebody that people can just toss magic on and it's like it sounds weird like that but this is someone who has some kind of honor or thing to fulfill in this lifetime entrepreneur the boss married divorcee daddy big d energy this is someone you can't mess with i'm sorry that female <laughs> that's divine feminine energy someone here could be single um, a divine feminine here could be on the market for an emperor and this could have been the, the emperor's life prior to crossing paths with their divine feminine Florida water this person wants to cleanse and be rid of the gold man's energy in their life I'm telling you it completely it's like it already collected like the gold man's like I already got what I wanted out of this situation it's so sad but I feel it in my spirit and it's like this person wants to cleanse themselves, cleanse their life. They want to completely kick this person to the curb. I want nothing to do with you. This person might literally see this individual as evil, okay? Now they want to move on the right path. Moving forward, going in a new direction, travel. This person's like, I want to be as far away from this person, the situation as possible. Because they knew it was their karma. Some kind of situation was the epitome of their karma there's not a shadow of a doubt the way everything just i just see it's like a domino effect of everything falling downhill all from having entertained a person who just tempted them it's like wow look at all the ish that occurred just because of this one person that i i i, I decided to mingle with wow 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 that's what i have for you if this reading resonated please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time bye